Man, a lot of big movies came out this week. I'm going to do my damnedest to cover as many as I can, starting with one of the best films you haven't heard about, called The Passenger, or La Pasadera. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below, share this video with all of your social media addicted pals, click subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for notifications. The Passenger, aka La Pasadera, is new on-demand digital download and select theaters from Bloody Disgusting and Dark Star Pictures. It's directed by Raul Cerizo and Fernando Gonzalez Gome. It's written by Luis Sanchez Polak, Asier Guerrije Jabara, Javier Echeniz, and based on a story by Raul Cerizo. Velasco, played by Ramiro Blas, drives a passenger van for hire that he has dubbed Nessa, and is about to embark on a drive across Spain with three passengers a religious Mexican woman suffering from cancer named Mariela, played by Cecilia Suarez, and a mother and daughter, Lydia, played by Christine Alzar, and Marta, played by Paula Gallego, who are going to meet up with Marta's estranged father. The overnight trip is supposed to be uneventful, though Belasco promises to provide color commentary all the way through. When they encounter what looks to be a crashed space vessel of some sort alongside the road and some kind of oozing pus monster beside it, they have no idea they are witness to a horrific invasion. Later, when Belasco accidentally hits a woman with his van, Mariella insists on taking her to the hospital, not knowing that their new passenger is infected with a fast-spreading otherworldly virus. The Passenger is an absolute carnival ride of a movie. It's filled with off-kilter comedy, over-the-top gore, and characters that are undeniably charming. It's a film that will have you gasping one minute and bent over laughing the next. This wild and goopy trip across the Spanish countryside is utterly unpredictable, utilizing old-school gore and monster effects mixed with memorable performances. Ramiro Blas is wonderful as Blasco, a con artist with a tall tale for about every aspect of his life, I love the way, in very few scenes, he's able to communicate so much about his character. Yes, he is an opportunist. Yes, his views on women are very chauvinistic. Yes, he is a product of a different age, light years away from the very sensitive times we live in today. But damn it if it isn't refreshing to see such a character treated like an actual character and not a one-note cliché. Looking like a Spanish version of Bosch's Titus Welliver, Blasco is an old-school action hero left over from the 80s. He's a reluctant hero, not first to pull a brave move, but in the end, he manages to get the job done. He takes a beating in this film, but despite his very many flaws, he manages to charm the hell out of you almost immediately after he is introduced in the opening moments. And instead of reversing expectation and teaching this toxic male a lesson, the passenger just runs with Blasco all the way through, as he is. But all of the characters are made interesting and unique in The Passenger. They're given tragic backstories that lead them on this trip and motivate them in everything they do. This film, in only a few lines of script, introduces each passenger on this journey fully without feeling preachy or overly discoursed. Along with Blas, The Passenger highlights a surefire up-and-comer in Marta, the spunky teen, played by Paula Gallego. Looking like a Spanish Anya Taylor-Joy, I guarantee this little powerhouse of an actress will be swept up and make a big name for herself very soon. She's the bright-eyed heart and soul of The Passenger, making up the unlikely alien monster-fighting duo with Blasco. It's amazing seeing the relationship between these two very different people form in the face of horror and adversity. I've talked about the charming characters so much because The Passenger really does a fantastic job of giving you a cast to root for, but their challenge is anything but charming. The Passenger is an over-the-top gore fest. Faces are ripped off. Eyes roll around inside of hollow heads. Heads are lopped off. Skin melts, oozes, and blisters. There's slime everywhere. This is one gory flick, so just be prepared. 
but all of the gore in the world can be used, and if the film is not scary, it's a waste of my time. Fortunately, directors Raul Cerezo and Fernando Gonzalez Gome fill the passenger with hyperkinetic action as well as expertly timed scenes of suspense and paranoia. As with many alien invasion movies like The Thing and Invasion of the Body Snatchers, there's a sense that anyone can be infected and the filmmakers make it clear that no one can be trusted. This looks to be the first time feature debut of filmmakers Raul Cerezo and Fernando Gonzalez Gome. These two are able to juggle comedy, horror, action, and even manage to give the film a heartwarming edge without being schmaltzy. That's a talent very few filmmakers can pull off, but these guys multitask like few others. The passenger never has a wasted moment that isn't filled with a laugh, a look over one's shoulder, a bated breath, or a gob of goo. It's one action-packed creature feature, paranoid invasion, sci-fi horror flick that you should not miss. You're doomed to live the life you're meant to be Stuck inside your reality